What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I want to talk about something that MLB The Show put out on their Twitter today, and it is this right here. Imagine we gave you the ability to create your own event in MLB The Show 20. What rules and rewards would you set, and why? So this is pretty sweet. Maybe they will take our thoughts in this and uh, create some kind of event for us after this, uh, you know, the AL Central and all that stuff. So kind of uh, kind of wanted to share my thoughts on this uh, in a video down in the comment section as well. Share your thoughts as well uh, on what you think would make for a good event. So we got a couple of things to talk about here. Now, would it be... A lifetime event, you know, just an event to end it out. And uh, I just want to talk about a couple of game modes that I really like. So at some point also, <clears throat> I'm going to start accumulating notes and things of that nature where, you know, I, I just kind of my thoughts on things that need to be fixed for MLB The Show 20 just a lot of little details and stuff like that that can make or it might be the show 21 a lot of little details that can make things better i'm gonna for that video i'm gonna have to like write down notes and you know write together put together a script and stuff like that this one's just gonna be more off the top of my head for my ideal event now <clears throat> for my ideal event um i'd really like a mode that we don't have right now uh that would be similar, it'd be similar in nature to Battle Royale, but it would be just using your Diamond Dynasty team and being able to have a similar mode where you can go 12 and 0 on Hall of Fame and get rewards. So obviously in Battle Royale, you have to draft. I wouldn't mind if in this you had to pay an entry fee of 1500 stubs or whatever it is. Uh, you know what I mean? I, I'd be fine with that. Um, but you would take your Diamond Dynasty team, uh, whatever you can put on whatever players that you want, and you try to go 12 and 0 because it is. I love playing ranked seasons, by far my favorite mode to play. But I would like a mode for ranked seasons, or I would like a mode that I can use my Diamond Dynasty team online and be able to utilize them uh, without having to go through a ton of nine inning games, just playing three inning games having rewards i think that would be uh absolutely ideal i love that mode now the other mode that they need they need like a franchise mode within diamond dynasty that's another mode that they need really really bad um just to give offline players something more for them to be able to play so for right now you know the closest thing that we had to that was the moments and the moments I believe right here for the all timers. He kind of went through the entire league and you played a lot of like three inning games, a couple of Hall of Fame games. You pretty much played against all these teams in Diamond Dynasty. But, uh, you know, it was just a three inning game. There's no stats, there's no MVP of the season. That's what I would like the most a fantasy, uh, a franchise mode within Diamond Dynasty. You can set the difficulty level that you want to play at. The other teams, they have basically the best players that have been released so far within Diamond Dynasty. So you're playing against the all time Dynasty, Diamond Dynasty teams of the other teams. It would be also, what would be sweet too, is if you could have some of your friends be in the league also so they could like take up a team so you could do almost like an online franchise you'd have the other diamond dynasty teams you'd have mvp awards you'd have a world series champ you'd have the ability to roll it into the next year so you could just kind of do that i think that's another mode that we really really need in diamond dynasty so like you could use an all-time team build of your favorite cards you could use your favorite cards you basically could use what you would like and just implement implement a franchise mode into Diamond Dynasty, but it would I don't think you'd have like necessarily draft picks and stuff like that. Maybe that's a good idea. Let me know down in the comment section below. But those are the two modes that I think would be great. So for this event, if we're gonna have like a lifetime event, um, I'd like it just to be no teams, no team restrictions. Um, I think that would be great. And then for the uh, streak wins down here, uh, I can't select that. It's not something I can select, but you, you can see it's three, six, twelve, or three, six, nine, and twelve. 
Uh, why not make it all-time teams and then at nine wins, you know, get like the 90 to 95 live series diamond. And then at 12 wins, maybe have a World Series pack or a BR pack. Just make it make it super, super intense if you can get the 12 wins. Uh, and we're just at this part of the year where, you know, at this point in the year, I think it's time to just make it easier to get some of the top cards. I feel like everybody that's been able to get the top cards by making the world series or going 12 and 0, like they've had a, they're probably, you can see my stub count up in the top, right? They probably have had the chance to profit quite a bit. You know, like I, at this point, I don't even really need any more stubs. <laughs> I'm just being completely honest with you. I've got too many cards that are too expensive. I don't, I've, I've already got the Cody Bellinger from this event. So at this point, that's like, if I were to go 12 and 0 or if I were to make the world series, I don't feel like I need to like get the stuff. So most likely I'm just like keeping the card. Like I'm going to keep the Bellinger card instead of selling them and stuff like that. So I feel like maybe that would be the best event. Just any, any cards that you want to use have some super big rewards at nine and 12. Like when I actually did go 12 and one, uh, and then I went eight and zero on route to be getting Bellinger. And at not at the 12 wins, even in this, let me get myself out of the way. Even in this, I did get a Garrett Cole, which sold for about 70 K. So it's, it, it is nice to get that stub bonus, but I like to see the ability to get Chipper Jones, to get Roberto Alomar, uh, for people to be able to get some of these world series cards that are really expensive, help the players out that, uh, are just, that got into the game a little bit later, Let it, let it, more people get cards out of the market that people that have millions of subs that can't get the cards out of the market right now, let them have the ability to do that. Uh, that would be, uh, that'd be really nice. There's a, there's only really a couple cards that are like that, but more cards are going to be more cards have skyrocketed in value. Uh, for example, uh, I think probably Chris sales getting close. If he's on this first page, he's getting up close to a million, you know, that's uh, a card that I had that I love to use, but it's getting extremely, extremely difficult to pick that card up. Uh, it's just not many people are going to be able to do that going forward. I wonder if like Ted Williams is up to, uh, he's up to like over a million. Nobody really has this card. Um, I had him for a little bit. Look at Ricky Henderson, super, super expensive. Um, but at least, at least you can still buy the Henderson. There's some, there's a couple of them that you can buy. So Maybe if you implemented some of those packs, those prices would come down. It would help more people, even if they wanted to put on stubs to get them somehow. I don't know why. I mean, it would still be pretty expensive, but at least it would just give more people the ability to use their stubs to buy some of these cards. So I guess that's kind of where I am with my ideal event. I've really enjoyed this event quite a bit, though. Uh, I got to say this event. I really have enjoyed... Um, the six innings uh, with the uh, quick counts. See, a lot of people say that they want quick counts to be like one on one when it starts off instead of random. The only thing that's nice about when it doesn't start out random, if you're trying to prestige some cards, it's been easier to get some strikeouts and stuff like that. Uh, the three innings would probably be better with the quick counts because there's a lot of games where I'll go up like 11 to one and then I got to play out all six innings, which I know that's a problem, just probably for a few of us, but it's like, well, now I got to play out all these innings and they're not coming back. So that, and that's so tough about the six innings, but it does always give me the opportunity with six innings, six innings to come back and win. But, uh, I, I think three innings is always good for events, but I don't know. I guess, uh, with the, you know, the cumulative wins being lower for a card like Bellinger, uh, maybe they had to, uh, go to six innings, but What's your ideal event? What's your ideal event? I've enjoyed these. I think the West team's like super loaded, especially like the players in the field. Like the players in the field are it's pretty much my end game lineup. I never really realized that. I think the central is going to be, uh, the central might be the, the weakest out of all of them. Uh, the East is probably going to be pretty strong as well. So those are just some of my, uh, some of my quick thoughts on the event in general. Uh, and, and events in general. This is my my ideal event is always going to be. Uh, oh, I should say I'd set it on three innings Hall of Fame. I should say I'd set it on three innings Hall of Fame. 
but those are those are just two modes that I really like to have in the game and so why not implement that mode into this event to give it a try and I'm talking about just using your Diamond Dynasty team on Hall of Fame three innings to go for some super big awards um, now that I think I mean it might make kind of battle royale kind of pointless but at least in battle royale it's like a different set of teams it kind of like allows you to you know instead of having a super stack team you can kind of use a variety of players on a team so i guess it's a little bit different i guess that's where i'm coming from on the difference there but thank you so much for watching this video i think i'm going to pick up uh jake arietta possibly out of uh i think i might do a video with bellinger and arietta so i think i'm even going to I mean, see, even right here, right? I'm going to hit, I'm 8 0. I think I'm just going to hit forfeit entry so I can get my Bellinger and put him on my team. And, you know, the, the rewards are nice, but I, I wouldn't mind just like being able to, uh, you know, what, where is he? Where is my Bellinger? There he is. I think I'm going to do a video with Bellinger and I think I'm going to buy this uh, Jake Arietta and do a uh, debut video. So that's what I'm about to record right now. So look for that video here a little bit later today. Uh, let's see if I can pick them up for like a little bit cheaper. Six, four, four, five, six, uh, six. And I want to see if I can pick them up while I'm editing this video and then, you know, maybe I'll get them a little bit cheaper. Oh, somebody already put up another order for that. Let me see if I can get them for six, five. All right, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.